Good morning. I'm Jonathan Nasser. I'm the founder of Steelgenics. We're based in Denver, Colorado. So what we try to do here in the uh, steel house, we are in the steel house. It's an eight and a half by 24 foot long trailer, a home, uh, sitting on a two axle trailer, which is a 14,000 gross vehicle weight. What we try to do here is really build a high end custom home on wheels. And so we're sitting here in what we call our decompression chamber, a place to relax, a place to a uh, long day, uh, sit down, watch TV, stream music. We have a 55 inch smart TV from Sony. We have a electric fireplace as well, which throws off great heat and also great ambiance. So a nice sitting area to sit down. This also pulls out, this couch pulls out to a queen size bed, uh, the ability to sleep on the main floor. Um, so this little area is a nice place just to uh, decompress. We do have a mini split system and this is also a heater as well. So obviously air conditioning unit uh, right here and also heating mechanism as well. So we did with a, it's all custom, these are actually all custom lights, recessed lighting attached below the loft. What we try to do here is also keep this cavity open for more volume, more height, which is, feels pretty spacious. I'm six foot two and obviously it feels great in here. I'm also standing on a vinyl floor, uh, which looks like a white plank, hand scrape, wood floor. It's actually vinyl. So very high in PSI, very waterproof, very durable. And we think it looks great as well. So we are on a 50 amp service. We do have the ability to put forth a, a steel house off-grid model, uh, putting forth a compost toilet, solar, and a battery pack, water retention system. So we do have the ability to put forth an off-grid system. Awesome. And the market's really asking for it. Um, really not only, you know, not relying upon the grid, uh, dropping this somewhere in the field and uh, not having, uh, not needing electricity, sewer, or water. So we're now on the inside of the unit. I talked about the outside. That gray, ash gray is the outside of the unit. The white is inside. So what's nice about this, what's very unique in our, in our approach, we think, is we expose that panel from the inside. Again, that's an R24. It's a three inch panel, R, an R value of eight per inch, so thin technology. But what's also nice is we're not furring out this wall. It's exposed, right? So we pick up an extra 10 plus percent in square footage. And by the way, that's a lot in a tiny home. And that's nice. People love the, uh, the look and feel. It's certainly a modern industrial New York loft feel, uh, but that, that is exposed. And what we're really trying to do is minimize the kit of parts and all the pieces to really create and produce a home on wheels. So what you see inside here is really our steel superstructure. That's part one, that exoskeleton, that superstructure, that's all steel. This is a nested C channel that's hot welded, very strong, very durable, and relatively lightweight. Um, that's, that's really step number one. Number two is putting that panel, that integrated panel on the outside of that superstructure, and that's our insulated core and shell, if you will. Our windows, uh, we also try to integrate elements that really meet our desire. Number one, we want that European feel inside of the steel house. So we, we have European windows, and most of our elements are from the USA, but there's three or four elements that are from Europe. Our windows, our doors, our cabinetry, which we'll talk more about in a few minutes. European windows actually open uh, two ways, and they open inside versus outside, minimizing rain coming in. The first way is a full opening inside. The second way is bringing some air. They tilt in as well. So we took uh, really that, we like these windows because not only do they look great, they're very sturdy and also have a very high thermal rating as well. The, this ladder here, steel ladder, again, our DNA is attainable, sustainable living, and we build everything in steel with an integrated insulated panel. So as we go up to the loft, uh, the, uh, we have two sleeping lofts. They're five by eight platforms with two queen beds, one on this side and one on the other side, sleeping two people per loft. Um, so I'm in the loft area right now, and really the intent here is a sleeping quarter uh, for kids, for families, nice and cozy up here. We also have lighting, but we also have the ability to plug in uh, your USB, charge your iPhone, stream music up top as well. Um, and yeah, queen bed in the uh, loft area. So as we come down into the, uh, the kitchen area, we really wanted to put forth a full-size kitchen, and we have lots of storage, virtually a full-height refrigerator. All quartz countertop, linen countertop, European cabinetry, which are very unique. They don't open horizontally, they actually open vertically. European style, all Blum hardware from Germany, and they're self closing as well. Again, what we try to do in here, as you can see, there's a lot of ambient light coming into our steel house. Uh, we felt it's very, very important to uh, bring that light in, make it feel, just really make it feel bigger creates a lot, you know, really highlights the volume inside the space. We're about 10 foot six high, 
from the floor to the, uh, the highest point of the, uh, of the ceiling. And what we did also is we wanted to create a, a very unique backsplash uh, with the window. Also bring that light into uh, the kitchen area. We also open inside as well for venting, some air circulation as well. So the cabinets are a walnut veneer on the bottom. Again, we try to really put forth a full-size kitchen. Great storage, pull-out drawers, again, all European. Full-size dishwasher. A two-burner induction cooktop as well on the quartz countertop. Garbage disposal. This is also storage, but also a cavity for a washer and dryer all in one. If uh, our clients want a washer and dryer, that's a certainly a good spot to put that washer and dryer in. Uh, we talked about the loft on the uh, on the TV side, the virtually the exact same loft above the bathroom as well. This steel has been built and fabricated in uh, Denver, Colorado, our ornamental steel company. Uh, as you walk in the loft, it has the same functionality of the other loft. Queen size bed, USB ports, uh, sleeping quarters for uh, families and kids. The windows, again, European windows, uh, it's a one inch thickness, two pane glass. Again, very thermally conducive. The in, really, the intent of the windows is not only look great, that storefront look, but more importantly, our envelope is very airtight, very thermally conducive. Again, an R value of eight per inch. The windows have to be on, at least on par with the actual envelope to ensure that we have no thermal bridging, no thermal gaps. Keep the hot air in in the summertime, or excuse me, the wintertime, and keep the cold air in in the summertime. So the windows are very important, not only to look great, but also thermally conducive as well. As really our goal here was to, you know, we talked about the superstructure, we talked about the integrated insulated panels, but we also talked about the windows and how thermally conducive they are. Uh, the superstructure, what we try to do here to really warm up the space and really create a very nice ambiance is we actually inlaid all the window sills with walnut on the window sills. And the vertical is all pine. So it really allowed us to soften, if you will, that steel look. As you look throughout this house, there's a lot of steel. Also, like every home, uh, we put forth uh, some very nice modern blinds as well to keep the ambient light out as well. Uh, that was our intent with the, with the window package is to really create that feel of a single family home, a traditional home on wheels. Also, we're standing on a vinyl floor, waterproof, high in PSI. I also want to point out, we talked about the split system, not only being an AC system, but also a heating system. But really one of our great features that our clients love is we're standing on a radiant floor heating, all electric not hydronic. So great, obviously great uh, warmth in the, uh, in the winter time. I live in Colorado, so we're building for extreme weather. Uh, that's one of our great features is a radiant floor heating as well. As we walk into the, uh, the bathroom area, again, we're trying to really put forth the amenities to feel like a full size home, albeit we're in an eight by 24, but the bathroom is very spacious. Our, our approach again with European design is to really use plug and play parts so we're not customizing certain elements to build out the house as a whole. We have an insert shower with a radius glass door that opens pretty easily, uh, fits nice in the corner as well. We also went with, a, with an in-wall toilet as well. All the guts of the toilet are actually in-wall, which gives us that, that nice cantilever look as well. So we also have a full-size sink and vanity and a medicine cabinet above with a mirror. We also have a smart system in the house, accessed by an Android device or iOS. Everything is actually home run into the mechanical room. And we also have an electric water heater, 40 gallon water heater. We wanted to ensure in a tiny home, you're not running out of hot water as well. So a 40 gallon hot water heater, uh, Savant smart system, everything can be controlled by your cell phone, whether it's an Android device or an iOS, your lighting, your TV, your music, your shades, your, your fan, uh, all in one control. This unit is actually hooked up to uh, the grid, so no gray or black water. It ties right into sewer and water. All right, great. Well, listen, thank you for touring the Steel House today. We appreciate your time and, and attention. Uh, you can reach us on 303-872-0606 or visit our website at www.steelgenix.com. That's S-T-E-E-L-G-E-N-I-X.com. Thank you very much. Have a great day.